Hey, fellow guardians. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we've got the new twid of Destiny 2 community team. So, kick back, grab your favorite gaming beverage, and let's dive right in. In this video, we'll be delving into the details of this article. First, I'd like to recommend my two videos I made this week, one is about the ability changes Bungie dropped out on Wednesday and the other is about the exotic armor changes came out on Thursday, both videos I linked in the description below. They say, Only two more weeks until the final shape launches, and we still have plenty of news to share with you all. These are the topics. We have a new Vidoc. Season of the Wish is closing, have you played the new mission? Be part the Twitch Rivals World First Race streams. Extra brave weapons for all. Read our abilities and armor tuning articles. Find out how Pathfinder works. Updates to the quests tab. Reminder about legendary shards. The Pantheon's last two gods are here. And so is our poster inspired by the Pantheon bosses. Check our new collab with Steel Series. The final shape downtime notice. Destiny team dropped out two amazing Vidoc. In the first one, which is already live they talk about emotional scripts, they'll visit the surreal landscapes and we can learn the language used by the dread. In the second one we get more insights delivered directly by the Destiny 2 dev team. They continue, we launched closer to the heart, the mission that closes year 6 of Destiny 2 and unlocks a mind-blowing cinematic that serves as a bridge between Season of the Wish and the final shape. So, let this serve as a reminder, go play it if you haven't already. Osiris will give you the mission if you visit the helm. In the next topic the world first race on Twitch Rivals they say, we wanted to celebrate such an occasion properly, so in partnership with Twitch Rivals, we'll have a world first race broadcast covering some of the streamers participating in the race, with commentary conducted by returning host Professor Broman and Rec 1568. If you are a creator looking to be part of the event, signups begin today and will be open until June 3rd. Here you can check what kind of emblems you can get for watching. Moving forward mentioned again that they increased the drop rates for brave weapons, trophies of bravery, and reputation gains with shacks, and starting May 28th, we will double the drop chance of limited edition brave weapons until Destiny 2, into the light ends on June 3rd. This week we get two blogs about abilities and exotic armor tuning previews, from both I made a detailed video, which I linked in the description below. The next important update is about Pathfinder. I highlight the most important issues about it. What is Pathfinder? Pathfinder is a new pursuit system in Destiny 2 that combines bounties, patrols, and weekly challenges into one streamlined interface accessible anytime via the director. When you open a Pathfinder, you'll see 20 objectives divided into 5 tiers. Completing and claiming these objectives forms a path to the final reward. You must claim at least one objective in each tier to progress to the next. Resetting your Pathfinder costs glimmer, offering new objectives and rewards each time, but the value of the final reward decreases with each reset until the weekly reset restores it. Where is Pathfinder? The final shape expansion will introduce two pathfinders, one replacing the bounty systems and weekly challenges for core ritual activities like Vanguard Strikes, Nightfalls, Onslaught, Gambit, and Crucible, and another unlocked in the Pale Heart campaign. The rituals pathfinder includes objectives across all ritual activities, with some requiring specific modes. An update later in the year will enhance accessibility to these screens. The Pale Heart Pathfinder will feature objectives similar to destination bounties, including new location-based tasks called field assignments marked on the destination map. Why is Pathfinder? Pathfinder was created with four goals. 1. Consolidation, to unify various pursuit systems into a single, easily accessible UI, making it simpler for players to know what they can do at any time. 2. Player agency, to allow players more control over their gameplay by choosing objectives that align with their session goals, rather than being restricted by fixed bounties. 3. 
Impactful decisions, to create a more interconnected system where completing objectives impacts the path to the final reward, encouraging players to engage with diverse activities. 4. Reduced barriers, to minimize the time spent traveling between locations for quests, bounties, and rewards, ensuring objectives progress as you play without needing to visit vendors or manage quests. Going forward in this article we'll get the info how to maximize our weekly rewards and how to optimize our paths. The rewards are designed to encourage completing many paths over many objectives in each pathfinder. Here you can read the details and get a few examples of various categories, rewards and objectives. Let's go further. What is Ritual's Pathfinder? Ritual's Pathfinder is a new system in Destiny 2 that replaces Crucible, Gambit, and Vanguard vendor bounties with a unified Pathfinder. This system includes objectives specific to each ritual activity as well as generic objectives that can be completed in any ritual activity. On weeks with an active reputation booster, the first three Pathfinder resets will contain more objectives related to the boosted activity, such as Crucible. How does Ritual's Pathfinder work? Completing an objective node in Ritual's Pathfinder Awards experience, similar to completing individual bounties, and completing a full path is like finishing a weekly vendor bounty challenge, rewarding prime engrams, bright dust, and experience. Unlike vendor challenges, which are limited to three per week per character, Pathfinder progress is shared across all characters and is infinitely repeatable. The reward amounts vary based on the number of completions. First three completions, Prime Engram, Enhancement Prism, 150 Bright Dust, 25,000 XP. Next 7 completions, Enhancement Prism, 150 Bright Dust, for 1,000 XP. Subsequent completions, Enhancement Core, 30 Bright Dust, for 1,000 XP. What is the impact of Ritual's Pathfinder? Ritual's Pathfinder aims to streamline and enhance the gameplay experience in ritual activities by providing a consolidated and infinitely repeatable objective system. This system encourages continuous engagement across all characters and activities, offering varied rewards to keep the gameplay experience fresh and rewarding. The introduction of Pathfinder is expected to change how players approach ritual activities and explore new destinations, with player feedback being encouraged after experiencing it. Bungie has introduced several quality of life updates with the final shape, particularly in the quests tab. Let's summarize it. Starting June 4th, players can set any quest category as the default view in the quests tab, and all milestones will now appear there without counting against the inventory limit of 63 quests and bounties. Tracked quests in individual categories will move to the front of the sort order, and hovering over a quest will show if it can be launched directly from the detail screen. Additionally, reputation boosts are now integrated into the ritual activities nodes on the director screen for easy viewing, and the private match screen for Crucible and Gambit has been redesigned for better usability and more customization options. Next Bungie recommends us to buy or exchange some raid banners because we won't be able to use legendary shards once the final shape has launched. The final Pantheon bosses are here. This week the 8th boss, Riven of a Thousand Voices arrives into the Pantheon. About its classification, hazards, intel and of notes are shared in the article. Nezarek, final god of pain is also with us, you can read about its properties in this twid too. Next 8 gods in one amazing poster. Bungie partnered with Gabriel Florzino, an amazing Brazilian artist, to create an amazing piece of art featuring the 8 enemies you were asked to defeat. As of May 24th, Displate will have the Pantheon poster available at their store. Continuing Bungie shared some cool videos of the community's favorite TR3 VR moments. They are very funny. Then our latest collaboration is here. They say, Destiny 2 and Steel Series are back with a new collection of limited edition gaming accessories inspired by the themes of light and darkness within the final shape. We have five different accessories this time, the Arctis Nova 7 wireless headset, the Nova booster pack, the QCK Heavy XXL mousepad, a ghost-themed Steel Series Artisan keycap, and the Control Freak Performance thumbsticks. Customers who purchase the collection will receive exclusive in-game cosmetics for Destiny 2, such as the Viral Celebration emote and the Gearhead emblem. Now the final shape 24-hour downtime. 
Destiny 2 will be offline for 24 hours starting at 9 a.m. Pacific on June 3 to allow players to pre-download the final shape, which will be a large file. Expect sign-in queues when the game goes back online and follow Bungehelp and Destiny 2 team for updates. If you receive a pony error code Bungie recommends turning off friend and clan requests in your settings under the social area and setting fire team invites to friends only. They're working resolve this issue as soon as possible. Next Bungie says, make sure to claim any expiring rewards before they're gone, including Seasonal seals and rewards Season pass items Season vendor rewards Shacks, Zavola, Drifter and Saint 14 rewards. Banshee 44 reputation items. Bungie rewards. Next Bungie draws our attention to the deprecated and moved items of our inventory into the Destiny content vault. Here are the detailed articles of these changes. Bungie continue investigating various known issues, for a full list of emergent issues in Destiny 2, review our known issues article. If you observe other issues, please report them to our hash help forum. Let's see the final thoughts of Destiny team, there's only 12 more days until the final shape is here, so be sure you have everything you need to be ready. Check that you have the weapons patterns you want, remember you can get one red border weapon per day, go complete a few more runs of Onslaught, and take on the challenge of the Pantheon with your friends for glory, and for that Godslayer title, of course. Hey there, Guardians! We've reached the end of our journey through Destiny 2's latest update. I hope you found this breakdown helpful and informative. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our future content. Got any questions or comments about the update? Drop them down below, and I'll do my best to address them. And hey, if you want to support me even further and unlock some awesome perks, consider joining my membership program. Your support helps me keep creating more exciting and colorful videos for you all to enjoy. Thanks again for tuning in Guardians. Until next time, keep on gaming, and I'll catch you in the next one.